Hallelujah, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Big power. Power in Jesus' name. All you got to do is call him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Y'all got to excuse me for a minute. But I feel it right now. Ah, Jesus. Can you feel it? He's here right now. Just call him. Call his name. Break free. Don't worry what they say about you. Look at me. I'm only 23 years old. Don't worry about what your friends going to say. You're never too young. You're never too old. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right and say, it could have been me. It could have been me. Sleeping in my grave. This is a true story. I could have been dead. I could have been dead, Saints. But Jesus. 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 I called on him one night. I thank God for my mother and my father. They taught me how to call on the name of Jesus and his power. His power. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all got to excuse me. I'm going to get to my word in a minute. But Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. They said we reigniting the flame today. But if you know what this flame is, say hallelujah. If you don't know, I'm going to tell you. It's the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. We need the Holy Ghost. Where is the power? Where is the power? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I got to give him glory. I got to give him glory. He ain't saved my soul for nothing. And I know this for myself now. Ain't nobody got to tell me he saved my soul. Because I know he saved my soul. When he came in my life, I had a corrupt mind before he came in my life. But Jesus, Jesus, he gave me peace in my mind. He made me holy. He made me righteous. And I thank God for that. Some people in here, they can bear witness when I was out there in the world. But Jesus, I thank God for Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to talk about Jesus today. He didn't have to do it, but he did. And I thank God for him. Thank you, Jesus. I'll be coming from Genesis, Genesis, the second chapter. Beginning at the 19th verse. When you get it, say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all got to excuse me, church, but he been so good to me. For four years, he been so good. Way better than 18 long years. Four years. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Somebody here don't know, but I guarantee if you try, 
Just try them one time. That one moment will be way better than many years of your life. Thank you, Jesus. And he will keep you if you want to be kept. You got to want to be kept, saints. And I tell you, he'll give you enough. He give you enough to see that he is Lord. But he ain't going to force it on you. I'm going to tell you that right now. He ain't going to force himself on you. He gave each and every one of us free will. So the choice is yours. Coming from Genesis 2 and 19 and verse. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Verse 23. Verse 19 says, Out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam had called them, every living creature that was the name thereof. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Verse 23 says, And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, and she shall be called one man because she was taken out of man. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, with those scriptures in mind, we see that God, he gave Adam a little bit of authority. He gave him a little dominion over everything that walked upon the face of the earth. You see, the earth was the only place that man would be able to go and walk to and fro and to be able to come back to his homeland. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But I see Jesus having all power in his hands. Hallelujah, Jesus. Having power in heaven and in earth and over everything beneath the earth. And the things under the earth, we know that those are demons. And if you got Jesus, they ain't got no power over you. Hallelujah, Jesus. For I see Jesus in heaven one day, him the Father, Son. They are there gossiping. They won't gossip, but they was talking amongst each other. They were saying, Lord, we gonna, God said we're going to create man in our own image. But the God said of man, if they disobey me, I will destroy a man. But Jesus said, Father, wait a minute. I love everything that you had created. And God, if man disobey you, I will go down and pay that bond. I will go down and be the sacrifice of sin for them, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the Bible let us know that it was written, that it was predestined for Jesus to come down. For the book of Hebrews 10, the book of Hebrews 10 say, it says, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Jesus. He said, in burnt offerings and sacrifices, for sin thou hast had no pleasure. But he said, a body hast thou prepared me. Then I said, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It's written of me to do thy will, O God. Then I heard John on the island of Patmos when he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. He said, a crowd was made. Who is worthy to open up the book? Who is worthy to loose the seals thereon? But Jesus, he is worthy. They said they went through heaven. They searched the heavens and couldn't find none that was worthy. They went and searched through the earth and still find none that was worthy. And they searched beneath the earth, still there was none that was worthy. And John said himself, I cried, I weep, and I moaned because there was nobody worthy to pay man's bond. But one of the elders came and said, John, you don't have to cry no more. Weep not for the son of man, he's coming to pay the debt that man cannot pay. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody give God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Give him praise. Couldn't nobody pay the price but Jesus. He was the lamb without spot or blemish. For I heard God when he told Moses, tell the children of Israel when they was getting ready to cross over into their new land. In their new land, in order to cross over, you got to do something. Yes, Lord, he told them, get a lamb without spot or blemish. Kill the lamb and take the blood, the blood, and put it on the posts of your doors. And that's what we need to do with the blood of Jesus. We need to put it on our hearts, anoint us from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Glory be to God. Let me get back to John. He said nobody was worthy. And the elder came and comforted him and said, John, you don't have to cry no more, but behold, the Lamb of God, he cometh. The root of David, the lion of the tribe of Judah, he is coming to pay the price. Glory be to God. John said he looked up 
and he hath seen a lamb as it had been slain from the foundation of the world. Glory be to God said he had seven eyes and seven horns which represented the seven spirits of God which was sunned into the earth. And when the lamb came down and he opened the book and loosed the seals, my Bible tells me that a praise lit up heaven saying worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive honor, glory, power, and riches, dominion over everything. I tell you, Jesus is worthy. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He paid a debt that he did not, he did not owe. Glory be to God, and that's the reason why we should praise him. Glory be to God, when he came down, he reproved the world of their sins. The world, they didn't like him, so they talked about him. They scored him. Isaiah told me that when he came down, he said, Surely he's born out of grief, and he carried out sorrow, and yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was led to the slaughter as a lamb without spot or blemish. But then he said, But he was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and it was with this stripe that we are healed. So that lets us know whatever we going through is with Jesus' stripe that we are healed. But you got to have that faith and know that you are healed. Boy, I see 10 men, 10 men of leprosy that was in their own country, in their own land, minding their own business. Then Jesus came walking back and they looked up and seen him and said, Son of David, have mercy on me. And now, when I read my Bible, the Bible lets me know back in the Old Testament, when a person had leprosy, they supposed to shout out, unclean, unclean. Now this was a kind of strange thing. They didn't say unclean, unclean, but Jesus, have mercy on me. So they knew that it was some power in Jesus' name. I'm pretty sure they heard much of the things that he'd done, how he healed a woman with the issue of blood, and how he raised Lazarus from the dead. So I know they believe in their hearts. I believe that they said amongst each other, we ain't got time to tell this life story, but it's high time now. We got to be about our father's business, and we need to be made whole. So they said, Jesus, have mercy upon us. And they came to Jesus. Jesus said, he didn't say, go your way, your faith has made you whole. But he told them simply, turn and go, show yourselves to the priest. So the Bible tells me when they turned around, they began to be whole. So in order for you to get healed, you got to turn around and step out on faith. Hallelujah, Jesus. You got to turn around and step out. Sometimes Jesus, he will tell you, you whole. But he just want us to do some things. We can't just sit down and do nothing to expect to get some. They said if you don't put nothing in, you ain't going to get nothing out. And when these ten levels were made whole, they was walking back, going to show themselves unto the priest. And just one of them, one of the ten, and that's ten percent of ten levels, one of them turned around and came back to give God names and praise. And Jesus said, was it not ten of you that I healed? Then why don't I see one of you come back and praise me? Where is the other nine? And that just sounds like tithes for some reason. It sounds just like tithes at 10%. God says give a 10% of all your earnings. And he said, if I bless you 100%, why can't you praise me 100%? Why is it that I can bless you 100% and you only give me a 10% praise? Why is it? God, if God bless you 10%, you ought to still praise him 100%. Because he woke you up this morning and he started you on your way. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And God gave Adam this power on earth over everything that walk up in the earth. That's it. Now we see that God, he is head of all things and he is the most high. And I believe that he let Adam know that, that he was higher than, higher than him, that he would only give him power on earth. But because of Adam's sin, his power was taken from him. Because God commanded him not to eat of that fruit. And then he tried to blame it on a woman. But you can't blame your problems on nobody else. Because it's you. God told you. You disobeyed him. So you can't blame it on nobody else. It's your fault. It's your fault. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So Adam said, God, it was this woman, that woman that you gave me. You gave me. You said I needed to help me. But I believe God looked down and said, Adam, you was down there wondering where your help me was. That's why I gave it to you. Adam looking around and seeing every, everything else had something. They had something except him. 
And that's what it is these, today. Some people, you got some, but you're looking around at what everybody else has. You just need to work where God gave you. The Lord, he knows your heart. He knows what you stand in need of. And he will give it to you when the time comes. Amen. That scripture in Malachi says, your fruit, your vine shall not cast forth for fruit before her time in the, in the season. So your time might not be right now, but it's going to be later on. You just got to learn how to wait on God and have patience with the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. And you will mount up with wings as eagles. You'll be able to run and not weary. And if you walk, you definitely will not faint. You just have to trust and lean and depend on God. Amen, amen. I thank God for each and everything he's done for me. Yes. And I come to tell somebody, you, you don't got to worry about what people going to say about you, what they going to think about you. People going to talk about you regardless if you save or not save. You can see it right now, but you just got to you gotta just act on it. You got to let God know that you're ready, you're willing. People going to always talk about you. They may talk good about you. They may talk bad about you, but they always going to talk about you. Whatever you do, it does not matter. But Jesus said in Matthew 10, he said, Fear not them which kill the body and not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy the body and the soul. So we got to fear God because God, he is the maker, of, creator of all creations. He made everything. He made mankind. Somebody give God some praise. Amen. Well, in the beginning, it says God created the heavens and the earth. And he's seen on the earth that the earth, it was dark and it was void. Amen. That was just, and that was just like me before I got saved. I was dark. I was without void. But one day, God spoke and said, let there be light. Yeah. And truly, that it was light. I'm not up here trying to boast and brag, but I, I thank him for what he done for me. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Amen. Then the scripture goes and said, Adam said, after God had created woman, where God, he, he caused a deep sleep to go on Adam. And he cut him open, and he took a rib out of him, and he made woman. And God, he closed him back up. And when he closed Adam back up, I believe there was no cut mark nowhere on his body. For what, whatever God do, it is made perfect. Yeah. Amen, amen. So God opened up Adam, but he closed it back up. And, and it came to me that that's how man, man is like that sometimes. You know, they'll be open with you one day, but when you show up, need them, they'll close their hands up on you. Their hands are closed so tight that a drip of water couldn't slip between their fingers. Now that's tight, and it shall not be that way. For God says, love one another as I love one, love you, and let us be helpers of one another. Amen, amen. God took that rib, he created woman. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. And she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. And God let me know in my study that he, this is what he's saying to every born again believer and every Christian. When you show enough, show enough, got it. He's saying this to you. You are now blood of my blood and spirit of my spirit. Ye shall be called righteous because you was taken out of sin. And now you have became holy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I thank God for the word they have given me. And those of you know the words of prayer to pray my 